Where do I let? Um. <coughs> no, I can't trust it. This is the road that we have to cross on a daily basis. Okay. Mumbai, our first stop in India, the place where phones were smashed, not stolen, and it was certainly the biggest culture shock out of all the places that we went to. We spent five days here and we failed at the first hurdle. We ended up only making it to the hostel because the flight attendant that was on our plane from London Heathrow saw us lost and vulnerable looking at the dodgy taxis at the airport. Hello. She kindly booked us an Uber and we thanked her for basically saving our lives. Day one, we were scared out of our wits, so we basically stayed indoors playing cards for the first few hours and making friends with people in the bunks below. We couldn't cross the road and we sweated a lot. Oh my god, how shiny am I? That's sweat. But we didn't want to waste our first day there, so we got our first ever tuk tuk. <laughs> Pardon? into the nearby shopping district where we could pick up a SIM card for my phone. That was a lot of stress. It was getting quite late and we were ready for our first dinner in Mumbai. We thought we were getting a proper four pound meal bargain, um, which turned out to almost be a fine dining equivalent, but it was delicious nonetheless. Day two. Hi guys, and welcome to the first day in Mumbai. We are currently at the Bombay Backpackers Hostel, which is where we're gonna be staying while we're here. Um, we had a lovely breakfast this morning. Now we're going to go and buy some fruit because my body is really craving it. So we have returned triumphantly with our bananas. Ooh. And what else did we get? Mango. No. Oh, melon. <laughs> we asked him to swap one dodgy banana for a good one. 100 rupee, which is the equivalent of a one pound watermelon. Bargain. It's super hot though. And as well as that flight attendant, our second saving grace of Mumbai was Raghav, who was basically a tour guide and someone who lived at our hostel who gave us a tour around Mumbai. We got a lot of chai tea, um, for example, China Gori, which is super creamy because it's made from the milk of a cow early in the morning. We got their sugarcane drink, which is their speciality, but tastes like the Indian version of the Harry Potter butterbeer. We went to the oldest incense shop in Mumbai, does it smell like an orchard? Yeah, it's gonna give me hay fever. <laughs> he basically took us to all the famous landmarks in Mumbai. The reason it was built is because if you go through the city, it takes you three and a half hours. But if you go via this, it takes you seven and a half minutes to get from end to end. Including the flower market, which was really lovely. Almost as white as me. <laughs> we finished the evening with potentially the best meal we had in Mumbai at Gokul Bite. And then we had ice cream afterwards because in India, it feels like ice cream time is any time of the day. Day three. We're wearing our fresh clothes from yesterday's market where we got four outfits for £15. We also then got the metro alone and we visited the Kanheri Caves. Sadly, this was where the phone was smashed, but luckily it wasn't taken by rabies monkeys. So, silver linings. So we have entered into the national park. You're so much taller than me. So it was 53 rupees each, which is the equivalent of 50p for entry. And then I think it's 70p. Monkey. Oh. Rabies. <laughs> We've decided to walk rather than to take the bus up because it's a lot cheaper. They're gonna charge us the equivalent of 10 pounds. Uh, we said no. We walk 10 minutes and they give it to us for 40p each. I'm very glad we took the sharing cab because we now have a lot of stairs. The caves are in the middle of a forest. So they have 209 caves here. So These over. caves are over 2,000 years old. Day four. Susie? Susie! Hello. Hi guys. So today is our last full day in Mumbai. We tend to wake up quite late here because breakfast is quite late. It's from 9 till 10.30. Um, every morning the chef makes something different. Today it was this spicy mash kind of thing. Susie wasn't a big fan of it, but I thought it was okay. Um, my spice palette is definitely improving. Oh. Hello! You walk outside and you start sweating straight away. We've got a tummy ache. Buy these biscuits for 10 rupees, the equivalent of like 
Nineteen. So good. Yes, we've made it. This is the gateway to India. There is a slight thing with Susie being white blonde and blue eyed in that she attracts quite a crowd. These are all the people that are waiting to get photos. Then for the next three hours we got scammed by a lovely guy called Raul. Um, he was actually really nice, very friendly. We didn't have 60 pounds to spend on a sari. It was so, so beautiful and so stunning and it was really lovely to try on. I felt like quite a princess. But it turns out that a lot of people get commission when they take around tourists to different shops and if they buy stuff or if they don't buy stuff. Yes, so that was his job. But it was all right, after three hours we did say goodbye and we went and visited a museum. This part Susie planned. Today we're gonna go to um, a museum that was formerly called the Prince of Wales Museum. Uh, it's now got a really long Indian name, I can't pronounce. For international people, this museum costs 500 rupees, but for international students it costs how much? 80, for both of us, yeah. After that we're gonna go to the Patissima Theodora, which one of Maine's um, viewers recommended. Uh, hope we get a coffee, which I've been craving. <laughs> After visiting the wonderful patisserie, we thought we'd go and visit Pizza by the Bay, which had been recommended. No taxi wanted to take us there, which was really cool, so we had to take our first bus. It was quite an experience, but we're now here and the sun is setting, it's really, really pretty. Oh, oh great! Turn on battery save, it'll be fine. But basically, in the nick of time, we have been saved. Pizza by the Bay is only an eight minute walk. The SIM card is now working, I am so happy. Unfortunately, it seems like they are English prices, but I think we've deserved it after a very long, tiring day. Yeah. Turns out we sent back my pizza. It tasted quite sharp. Um, there was no avocado on it. The fennel was super strong, but the cheese was what really I killed the vibe. Yours is just the worst <laughs> out of the two. <laughs> We had to pick one that we keep, <laughs> and it decided to be mine. They kindly bought us a complimentary dessert. I feel a little bit icky. So we just got our bill, and it comes up to a lovely 1,888 rupees of uh, wasted money. We had a nice little returning the food fiasco at the restaurant, and we quickly rushed home in a share taxi because Susie was not feeling good, and we had to pack because we were flying the next day. So, on to day five. Long story short, we went to the airport and I threw up in check-in. I don't think I can eat chocolate at the moment. It's so unbelievably hot. I haven't thrown up since then. I have. Oh uh, yes, we've also picked up a stranger along the way. I <laughs> <laughs>